In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way that you can create an AI agent that uses perplexity so that you can incorporate real time information within your AI agent. This is really useful. There are so many scenarios where you will want to have real time information and real time search in your AI agents. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to create this agent, we're going to be using a tool called N8N. It's a fantastic tool that you can use to create AI automations and AI agents. It's free to get started with. Um, this is what our workflow looks like when we create a workflow within N8N. We're going to add a first step and we're going to type in perplexity. There it is. And we're simply going to go message a model. We're going to change this in a bit, so we don't need to worry about this too much. Um, I already have a credential. I, in fact, I've got two. I'm going to delete both of these so we can start from scratch. Okay, so now I've got no credentials. This is what you'll see as well. So we want to first start by clicking on create new credential and you're gonna see an inputs field for your API key. Now to get to your API key, you want to Google perplexity and come across to perplexity's website. You want to log in and create an account with perplexity. I've already logged in, but you'll probably see like a prompt down in the bottom left to log in. Once you have logged in, click on your account and go to API. You will then want to do two things. First of all, you will need to add um, some credit to your account. They, I believe they don't at the moment allow you to run the API for free. You need to have some credit. I think $5 is the least that you can uh, put onto your account. So put on $5, then come to API keys. You will see that you have no keys here. We're gonna click on create key and we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it N8N test delete because I want to delete this after this video. Uh, create the key. Then we want to click on this here, which is going to copy it to our clipboard. You can see there, copied to clipboard. We can then come back over to NA10. We can come in here, paste it in, and click on save. Now you might see, could not connect with these settings. I've been having this for the last while, but it seems to work regardless. So actually it looks like the error is with the error, not actually with perplexity. So let's run it anyway and let's see. Okay, so um, what we can do is just type in here, Hello, and one thing you will notice is that um, we had to select a model. Now, if we go over to perplexity and go perplexity uh, models, we'll be able to have a look at their different models and you'll be able to see that they've got sonar, they've got sonar reasoning and sonar deep research at the moment. Um, you will see on NA10 at the moment though that we do have the R1 model. This is no longer in use. So if you try and use this, it won't work, which maybe is why we're getting that error because maybe we're trying to use this by default. Um, but if we click on sonar and then say hello, it's not going to give us anything particularly insightful because it's not a great question, but uh, it should come back with a response. There we go. There's a response and um, content. Hello. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. We don't need to dig too much into that because we're going to delete these because we've done the important part, which is setting up the credentials. Now let's talk about how we create the agent. So we're going to type in here chat on the create first step. We're going to go chat trigger. That's fine. We'll put that over there. Then we'll go AI agent and click on this. What an AI agent is, it's basically the brain of the operation. We can connect the intelligence to it. We can connect memory to it. We can connect tools to it. And the brain is going to understand when it needs to use certain bits. So we are going to um, go on the chat model and go uh, open router or open AI. You can connect whichever LLM model you want to. I'm going to connect open router. Open router essentially allows me to connect to any model that I want from any different provider. So uh, 4.1 mini is fine. That's going to work fine. Now you might be thinking, if we're using perplexity, why are we also using open AI or Gemini as well? Well, we're using perplexity just to do the bits which perplexity is good at. And that's generally searching for real time data. If we're just wanting to you know, chat with it, then we still want a basic LLM to chat with because we don't want to be using perplexity all the time. So then we are going to be hooking up memory. We're going to add in simple memory um, and we're going to set the window length to 10. This essentially governs how many back and forth conversations can you have with it um, before it forgets what you talked about at the beginning. Then on tool, um, in fact, let me open this up and um, I'm going to open up this chat and say, hello, what is the capital of Italy? And it's going to work. You're going to see the capital of Italy is Rome. But if I say, what is the latest uh, Bitcoin news? Then 
it's not going to be able to do that. It's going to give me a result. Um, well, the result is I do not have access to real time information. OK, now we're going to hook up perplexity. So if we go on tools and search for uh, perplexity tool, now you'll see that this is circular rather than the other one that we had. If I get that was square or squarish. Um, this is a node and this is a tool. The only difference is tools are used when we're working with agents. It does basically the same thing otherwise. So let me get rid of that. So we're going to go in here and we've already got our account, which we just created. Um, and then we've got to select a model. Remember, we can't use this model. We're going to use sonar. You could select any of the other sonar ones if you'd like, but I don't need to. I just want to get back the basic information rather than a deep research. Um, then the text, I'm going to leave this up to AI because I'm going to allow AI to call this tool when it needs to. So then I'm going to save this. Essentially, what that means is that whenever this brain, the AI agent, goes out, ah, I need to get a, a bit of information in real time, then it's going to connect to perplexity. So um, let me run this. And I'm half expecting to get an error here. So let me show you why. If I say, what um, are the most recent news items around Bitcoin? Um, I'm going to send it off. And where there you can see it actually is connecting to perplexity. Um, I was half thinking then that it won't connect because we haven't told it we want to use real time information, but it knows. And there we can see instead of getting, I don't know, I can't connect to real time information, we have used perplexity. You can see there with the, uh, uh, the tick. Um, and it says, here's real time information uh, from August 2025, which is now, and it gives us the price from today. And then you can see it's using perplexity. Now, if you do get a prompt saying, I can't access real time data, you may have to come into perplexity, go on tool description, click on set manually and say message model in perplexity. Um, use this when you want to search the internet for real time information. And that way it knows whatever you put in this description, that's essentially what the brain is going to look at when it's thinking, should I use this tool or not? So there we go. That is a very basic way in which we can create an AI agent that connects to perplexity so that we can access real time data um, with an agent. We can hook this up to put this on our website. We can connect it up to our emails. We can put it on a, a back end tool that our team could use. There are just so many applications of this and being able to access real time data is just super important. If you've got any questions, then do come on over to my free community link below. If you're really serious about implementing AI within your business or about um, growing your AI agency and starting an AI agency, do come over to the paid mastermind as well. Link will be down in the description. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to me. That is it for me from today. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.